Hello, Diamond Royals. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you like the content I'm putting on my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And share it with someone you know that may possibly need to hear this message. So, this prophetic message um, today is very dear to my heart because of past experiences that I have went through. And this is to help somebody else. Um, this morning led by the Holy Spirit about this topic and this matter. Um, this might be a sensitive topic. This might be, um, this is already a serious topic. So if you can stay with me to the end of the message, it will be great um, regarding this topic and what y'all need to know about being a chosen one. Um, when you chosen... You're not going to be accepted. You would never be accepted as a chosen one in your hometown or by your family. Okay? That's what I want to cover with that. Um, you would never be accepted. Now, why aren't you accepted? Uh, we're going to cover that in this video. What The possible reasons why you're not accepted as a chosen one in your hometown or by your family. Okay. When you are set apart by God. You might not even know this growing up. When you a child growing up. You just being a, a child. You, you're trying to be a good person. And yet you around a whole bunch of people. That's toxic. That's situations of a chosen one. You around people that, that don't do no good. While you're the light you around a whole bunch of bad spirited folks. If any of you guys grew up around that, type a one in the comment section because I'm one in half. When you are chosen, you are going to be mistreated. You might even be abused by a lot of people. People want to fight you without cause. People want to disrespect your name. People want to humiliate you and make you feel like you're nothing and you're no one. And this is what a chosen one would go through on this journey. When I was growing up, I never fit in with anybody. That's a sign that you are a chosen one. You don't fit in nowhere. Every time I try to make a friend, there's always somebody that wants to either fight me. I could just say hi. I'm telling you where I, I grew up in a small city in Illinois. I say about the ages of five to about 11, I tried to make friends. <laughs> and each time I try to make a friend, even with certain family members that I found out was my family members, it's like I could never get people to talk to me or be my friend. I remember me begging some girls Back when I was like 10, 11 years old, you know, I want to, you know, talk to you guys, be your friend. And they just gave me a look like, I, I'm telling you, I was a child, 19 years old. You know, they just look at you, just, we don't want to talk to you. You know, and then to be treated like I'm, I was treated like I was ugly, you know, then, um, I don't have, uh, I never really had a good relationship with my mom. And even with my mom, it was always abuse and mistreatment as her oldest. And I still to this day don't know why my mom treat me the way she treat me. And I come to the realization from spending time with the Holy Spirit that when you are really chosen and set apart by God, you just not finna fit in. <laughs> And I'm not seeing all that to, I'm not seeing all this stuff so you guys can feel bad for me. I'm just letting you know the real. When you are chosen and set apart by God, you are not, you're going to be misunderstood by everybody. People are just not going to like you. They're going to find reasons to pick on you. They're going to find reasons to do things they're not supposed to when it comes to you because you are a chosen one by God. When God sets you apart from people in this world, it's, it's, it's hard because it's like you feel like you are by yourself in this world. But you're not by yourself. 
You ain't never by yourself. God was always with you. Even though you couldn't see him. He knew what these people was going to do. He knew you grew up in your toxic environment, a lot of y'all. He knew that you wasn't going to fit in the moment you were born into the world. Because God knew you before you was in your mother's womb. He knew you wasn't going to fit in with them. So don't be surprised. Listen to me, chosen ones. Don't be surprised that you don't fit in. And that you stand out. And that don't be surprised that God moved you where you are today. Now, we already covered in childhood what you possibly went through. You know, but where you are today, if you're away from everybody or God got you in a new state by yourself, don't count. Don't think that's by coincidence. God knew exactly what he was doing. He knew exactly what he was doing. He knew you wasn't going to fit in with these people. All these people from your hometown was going to do. These people y'all grew up with that y'all tried to fit in with. That had the clicks and the popularity. All these horrible. If you really look at them spiritually, they was really horrible. These are the type of people that jumped on people. They do drugs. They sell drugs. They, they, they act grown before they time. They pop out babies at 14, 15. All them type of people. God knew you wasn't going to fit in with them. Because you weren't doing that at that age. You were growing up on time. You were growing up in a right place. While they was growing up being fast before their time. So this is why. So when you. Now that y'all are older. You are older around these people. And everybody's just in a different place. But if you realize the chosen one is doing something that the average people from their hometown or within their family bloodline is not doing. They're doing things that people can't understand. God got them shifting. God will even set up situations to where you don't fit in with your family because he knew he got a bigger calling for you. His, his plan was for you to feel uncomfortable around these people. Around your family members, your toxic, hateful family members. I experienced this as well, so I'm not telling y'all something that I ain't went through. When I do my videos, it's something I have experienced in life. And the woman I am today can talk to you guys about this because I've already been there and done that with people. I've already been through it with people in my hometown. I done already been rejected. I done already been terminated without cause on jobs. So all one of my messages is something that I can relate to. And I can relate to y'all on this situation because I've already been there and done it. I've already been there. But it made me stronger and wiser and made me to see how to move around certain people and things. You was never designed to fit in. And I know that's a hard pill to swallow. You was never designed to fit in with your, your family. You was never designed to fit in with your hometown. God had a bigger calling for you. All them people that rejected you back in your past, your toxic blood relatives that rejected you, if you look at them where they are today compared to where you are and where God got you going, it's going to answer a lot of your concerns about that. A lot of them ain't going nowhere. They did their life. They grew up fast. They grew up young. They ain't going nowhere. But they chose to hate and despise you. And God is telling a lot of y'all, y'all ain't got to sit around these devils. Y'all ain't got to sit around these people that despise y'all from your hometown. Move away from that. Move. Get away from what's familiar to you. The word familiar. You're around a whole bunch of situations and people that's familiar. But just because it's familiar to you, that don't mean it's the best for you. God is trying to get you to move and see that you need change for the better. This is why you're in a new state. This is why God said, do not look back at the past. Because you are in a different place spiritually. You got to look at it spiritually instead of just physically. You think, oh, because I grew up around these people, I'm always going to fit in with them. That's not always the case. Sometimes you're not going to fit in at all. From day one, you didn't fit in. And you was trying to hang on 
and hang on and hang on because that's what we do as chosen ones. We try to hang on to things. Hang on to people that we know don't mean us no good. Hang on to an environment that we know ain't the best for us spiritually. <laughs> we know that already. God equipped us to know that internally. This is why you cannot look back to the past and go around people that already despise you from day one when they did know you at a point of time. No, these people don't know you no more, but if they still doing the same stuff they've been doing 10, 15, 20, 30 years ago, there ain't going to be no change in their mentals towards you if they already felt some type of way about you the first time without cause. Oh, they, they, they didn't like you because your hair was done a certain way. They didn't like you because you was a little skinny back in the day. I know I was. I was very, I'm still skinny now, but I was very skinny when I was growing up, you know? I'm a woman today. I'm a, I'm a wise woman today. And I have confidence the type of woman I am today because that's how much hell I went through. So I'm able to talk because of all the hell that I've been through that God delivered me from. And y'all just don't know I praise and thank God every day that he removed me away from a lot of people. Like, I don't need these toxic, miserable people no more. And it's not being, and you got to be like that. It's not that you... That you being prideful or, you know, just, it's not that you don't love these people. <laughs> it's just that you know you better than what they trying to put you in, the foolishness they trying to put you in. They already don't accept you. <laughs> they don't accept you because you're different. But your difference is because you are a good person and they want to be toxic, low vibration, miserable and stank. And a lot of these people are full of mental illness. This is what y'all don't understand on why y'all don't fit in. A lot of these people that y'all try to fit in with back in your hometown and y'all family members. If you really have a conversation with them for about 10 hours, you will see how mental they really are. These people have mental disorders going on. They played a role like they ain't mental, but they mental. They mental because they know they ain't did what God asked them to do for their life. So their job is to stop you, hold on to you as their daughter, as their grandchild, as your peers growing up, as your childhood friends. Their job is to stop you like crabs in a barrel. Literally like crabs in a barrel. Their job is to stop you because they know they did not do what God told them to do. They chose to live foolish and reckless and ratchet. This is what these people chose in their life. Yet this person, these people had talents. They might have can sing. They might have could dribble a basketball. They might have can throw a football. They might can run. They can do it all. But they're mental they got generational curses stuck on them because they refuse to break toxic cycles or they around people that just wouldn't let them grow. So now they get old and miserable and now they want to look at you and target you as the chosen one to keep you from growing. This is what's going on. They want to stop you from growing, stop you from reaching your best potential. Stop you from everything. This is why you don't fit in. And scripture tells us, I don't have my Bible with me right now while I'm talking on this video. But it says that a prophet would never be accepted in his own country. So God already knows how people would be. You try to go back to a place that you got delivered from. Then people ain't going to see your... your the grown version of you, they're going to see you as the same person they did back in the day because it's you. So why go back around it? This is what God was telling me. Ashley, why go back around your toxic, miserable hometown in Illinois when you know your family despise you? They showing you that through social media. People you grew up with, they stink trash and they went nowhere and they throwing drama your way, making lies that you like a certain guy and woo, 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 just a whole bunch of drama that you involved in through social media when it's not even the truth. And if you look, look at these people, they ain't even went nowhere, Ashley, is what God was showing me. 
They ain't even go nowhere. So what are you worried about it for? Why are you even, even concerned about it? Stop trying to prove yourself to these ugly folks from your hometown. Because they ain't nothing to prove. They ain't nothing, no one to be proved to. They ain't even made it out of their situation. But yeah, you trying to, you going back worried about what they saying about you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And this is what God is telling a lot of y'all. Yeah, y'all don't fit in, but does it really matter that you don't fit in? You wasn't designed to fit in. You was designed to stand out for a time as this, where you are today. A lot of these folks, y'all, these people that won't accept you from your hometown or in your, your bloodline, your blood relatives, they watching you hard. They watching what you're going to do next. They want to see what you're going to do for your future. Yeah, they watch you. And then they want to find reasons to accuse you. But God said, you know what? We're going to shut it down right now. I chose you. I did not choose them. They can hate. They can throw shots your way. They can do what they want to do. They can despise you. They can be jealous. They can, you. They can try to set you up in some drama. But the truth is, God is saying, I still choose you. I didn't choose them. They rejected me. You chose me. So you still got, you. it's like you made a covenant with God. And God made a covenant with you while you were a young child. God already had his hand on you when you, when you were young. You wonder why you always got beat on, fought. I'll never forget <laughs> the stuff I remember growing up to let me know I ain't fit in with my ratchet hometown and the people I grew up around. I remember me being in the fourth grade, just as a true story. Fourth grade, 10 years old, minding my own business. I want to play in the band, a violin. I went to the school, the primary school I went to was called Ting uh, back in Peoria, Illinois. This was back in 2000. No, this was back in 1999 to 2000. Yeah, I was about like nine, 10 years old, fourth grade, heading into the fifth grade. So about nine, 10, eight to 10, somewhere in that age group, nine to 10, headed before the fifth grade. And I'll never forget my, the teacher I had, I'm not even going to say no names on this video because a lot of y'all, I don't know, y'all not going to know her, so I'm not going to say no names. She was an older teacher, but she was mean. When I say mean, she was very mean. And this lady, um, I remember me talking in the class because I always like to talk. Um, and it's probably why I have this platform today because that was a gift that God gave me at a young age for me to speak and talk and have a voice. But yet I got abused and beat. That was nobody but the enemy letting people come against me through people to stop my voice. It's like the devil really wants to stop my voice. And look how that backfired. Oh, the, <laughs> the devil ain't getting no glory in that because now I still, matter of fact, I got a bigger platform now. Now I'm reaching souls to God's heavenly kingdom with my voice. The voice that he tried to stop when I was a young girl. I never forget the teacher told me. She said, Ashley, you talk too much. You talk too much. She said it in front of the class. I'll never forget that. <laughs> and then there was another situation where when I was playing the violin. Let me go back to that. I played the violin. And I went out to the band I I wasn't bothering nobody I wasn't dealing with nobody and it's like everybody plotted against me in the class it got to been like that I come back to the class and a bully in the class decided to push me when I got back from my violin practice now, mind you this is in school why the teacher is standing there everybody is standing up in the class the girl literally fought me, just starting drama with me. It's like the, and the teacher sat there and did nothing. She literally sat behind her desk and I did nothing. Let me get, 
basically let me get beat up by a girl that I didn't even know why I had a problem with because I really, I just came back from violin practice. Literally, and the girl just beat, just, just hit me and I tried to fight her back and then, you know, just, we just, just drama around my hometown. If anybody watching this from Peoria, Illinois, y'all know I'm not lying, making this up with the drama that goes on up there. So don't jump on my page acting like I ain't telling the truth when y'all know it's the truth. Them people will start stuff with you for nothing. <laughs> and you'll be like, what did I do? But when you're chosen, it was designed to happen like that. Because God already knew he wasn't going to have you there uh, 20, 30 years from now in that city or hometown you grew up in. He already knew. God sees everything. There was another situation. That was one situation. Teacher did not help. She didn't even help. She just let the girl beat me up. And everybody was just standing around the class. Like it was a setup for it to happen. That's what happened. And I remember before that, when I was going to a primary school up in my hometown, there was another teacher. I'll never forget her. Now I'm only five years old, five. And this teacher tells my mother that she did not like me. Now, mind you, I'm only five. And you know what my mom did? She agreed with the teacher and said, well, what did she do? And smiling and laughing and like, okay, okay, okay. Why don't you like, but what's my mom was supposed to have did that? You got a whole teacher that don't like your child that's five years old for no reason. And this woman is grown, grown. And you don't say nothing. You basically agree with the teacher over your five-year-old child. So I'm not saying this to basically make these people look bad, but it's letting you know that you will not fit in as a chosen one of God in your hometown. Everybody would despise you, even the very mother that birthed you, because you got a mark on you that got you set apart by God. You have a mark, a spiritual mark that you cannot see when God sets you apart. You're not going to fit in. Stop trying to fit in with people in your hometown, y'all. If God moved you from that place, best believe it was for a cause. See, God look at things your whole life. God has watched you your whole life. He's seen the situations you was in. He's seen the stuff people plotted against you that they put you in. So you cannot be afraid of why God moved you away from people that you shouldn't have been around. You cannot be afraid of that. God knew these people was mental towards you. And these people was vultures and envious and jealous and sick and ratchet and drama. And I'm talking about the people older than you while you were a child growing up. So you trying to go backwards to your hometown and fit in around a whole bunch of people that's in the same energy they was in 20, 30 years ago. How would that make you look when you already grew past that foolishness? God has already shifted you and moved you out the way. God already moved you because you are his anointed one. So you wasn't going to fit in anyway. They was going to despise you anyway in your hometown or in your bloodline or your, your, your blood relatives because you guys anointed. They don't know. All they know is you're different. They don't know what it is. They just know you're different. But the devil, when them situations that happened while I was growing up on top of the abuse I dealt with from my own mother and then my father too. And then being made fun of at school by peers. This is all the stuff I went through growing up. So I can imagine what y'all went through growing up as God's chosen. We gonna go through it the most and we ain't gotta do nothing to nobody. They just don't like our light or it's something in us that these people don't like. People want to jump on me at church, a female I grew up with. Started putting me in some drama and got my mom to come after me because she wanted to fight me all the time. While we were up in church, this is the type of stuff you got to deal with as the chosen one. So, no, yes, you would not fit in. You're not going to fit in with your hometown. So, your, your best bet is to not even go back. Don't even go back around people that you know that's in toxic, miserable, low vibrational energy. 
devil wants to silence your voice at a young age, just like he tried to do mine. But y'all see how that backfired, right? Look where I'm at today. Y'all see how that backfired? Even in some of y'all lives, where are y'all today? All the stuff you went through in your childhood because the devil was using these mental folks to come against y'all to stop you from your life purpose like the crabs in a the barrel they were. How did that work out for the devil and them people? Where are they and where are you? Can they come back around you? Yeah, you could forgive them, but I wouldn't advise you bringing these people back around y'all. Why would y'all bring people back around y'all that treated y'all like this? Why would you go back to a hometown that ain't got nothing there? A whole bunch of miserable, toxic folks that's going to look at you like how they did when you were 5, 10, 15 years old and you are now 35, 40, 45, and 50. But they still looking at you like they did back in the day because they ain't went nowhere. You have already traveled. You have grew. You have, you, you have grew on a spiritual level. God has elevated you spiritually. So you're not going to fit in. You're just not going to fit in. Not even with your blood relatives. They, they despise you at when you were growing up. Your, it's a lot of your family members. You think because they your family that they really had the best interests at heart for you? No. These people despise you too. Just because y'all share blood, that don't mean they, dis, they don't despise you. People are going to be people. And people need to get cut off accordingly. That's just the woman I am today. I hate to say it like that, y'all. But if people can act like that, they need to be cut off accordingly without, without you even saying a word. Just, just demolish them accordingly spiritually and let God deal with them later and you move forward. Let him deal with these vultures and these evil people up in their heart. Because they had no business coming against y'all without causes. God's chosen ones anyway. So you shouldn't be trying to fit in. You should be trying to stand out even more today that you know that God set you apart from these people, from your hometown or for your toxic family. You should be happy God set you apart. You don't need to fit in with these ratchet, trashy, toxic folks. People that don't mean you no good. People that ain't going nowhere in their life. People that's under generational curses. And still choose to prolong the generational curses. People that just want to smoke weed, fight, and be silly all day. It wasn't meant for you to fit in. Embrace your difference, chosen one. Embrace your difference. You wasn't meant to fit in. Because God had a bigger and better plan for you than fit in with these people. This is why you are where you are today. I bet you they see your light now. The devil tried to stop your voice. He couldn't stop your voice. Now you talking louder through the sound waves, literally. Your voice is being heard by thousands and thousands of people. He tried to silence your voice by the abuse, that you, the mistreatment you went through, just everything in your childhood to stop you. And you still got to your destination because of God, because you had faith that God was going to deliver you. And he did. When you cried out and told God, I want to be away from these miserable, toxic, low vibrational people, God answered your prayer the moment you said it. He was just waiting on you to get on your knees and say the word to him. Prayer moves mountains. I'm a firm believer in that because everything I prayed, God has answered. I'm telling you, everything I prayed about in my life, God has answered all my prayers. And if he's answering my prayers, that means he heard me. And if he's answering my prayers, that means that I'm in his favor. He answered my prayers. He may not come when you want him, but he'll be there right on time. The moment I said, God, I'm tired of dealing with these toxic, low vibrational family members of mine. They disrespect all day. God told me to shut down my Facebook. Heavenly Father, I don't know what's wrong with these peers from my childhood that I ain't seen in 16 years, but they got me messed up. God blocked them out of my life and said, move forward. Literally, just like that. It was nothing to God to do that. Because he already knew these people. He know these people mental and got some, something going on up here, some screws loose. Because why else are they coming against you without cause? They don't like you what? Because you look a certain way? Because you don't fit in with they, they click? What's the reason why people in your hometown don't accept you? What have you done? Nine times out of ten, you had did nothing. They just don't like you. Whatever mental torment they going through up there about you, it ain't got nothing to do with you. This is why God removed you away. So instead of trying to fit in, chosen ones, stand out. 
This is what God is telling his children today. Instead of fitting in, stand out. Stop trying to fit in with people that you're never going to fit in with. Because you're not going to fit in. You're not. <laughs> you're just not. They don't accept you. But God used them situations to grow you on a spiritual level and make you a stronger individual and look at you today. Now look at you. You don't even want to be around these people. You said to hell with that noise. Tough titty. <laughs> the words from my great grandma makes you rest in peace. Tough titty. <laughs> I'm better than this. I don't need to fit in with my hometown. I don't need to fit in with my toxic blood relatives no more. They already showed me they despise me anyway. So what I got to sit around here playing with these people for? I'm going to do what God called me to do. And that's what you did. And that's what God proud of. Because you move forward. You move forward in your destiny. As you should have. As you rightfully should have. And leave these people behind. <laughs> so because you know you will never be accepted. As a chosen one in your hometown. Or by your family. Stop trying to fit in. Continue to stand out. Continue to let them hate you and despise you. If that's what they want to do. Because what people feel about you. To be honest with you, it ain't got nothing to do with you. It's what they think about you. How they feel about you ain't got nothing to do with you. <laughs> what you gonna let these people stop you because they don't like you? Whatever petty reason they don't like you for or won't accept you? That ain't got nothing to do with you on why they heart posture like that towards you. Only thing you do is pray and release them to God and have them him work on their ugly hearts. But how they feel about you? How your toxic family feel about you. How these people you grew up around feel about you. Ain't got nothing to do with you. It got something to do with them. So why let that stop you and get you off your life destiny. And your purpose in life. Because of people that don't like you without cause. To hell with them people. To hell with them God is telling a lot of y'all chosen ones. To hell with your hometown. To hell with the people you grew up around. To hell with your toxic family members. And do what I called you to do because I put you here on earth for a specific purpose. This is what God is telling a lot of y'all. This is what God is saying. To hell with them. You ain't meant to fit in. You was never meant to fit in. You was always meant to stand out, God is saying. I don't care how these people feel about you. This is why you where you are today in a better place. In a better place than what you were. Because you in a better place for God's glory. So, you're never going to be accepted. When you're chosen and set apart... You just chosen and set apart. And that's that's a blessing for you, for your future that you did not fit in. So you can move forward in your faith and not worry about these people no more. And that's a prophetic message I have for somebody on today. Because a lot of y'all are confused about what y'all should do in your life purpose. And God is saying, it's no more confusion. You chosen, I set you apart. You don't need to question what you've been through with people. You don't need to question why I removed you away from your hometown. You don't need to question why I removed you away from your, your family members. You don't need to question that no more. The proof is in the pudding on why he did it. <laughs> Stop trying to fit in. Stand out. They ain't not going to accept you ever. Because you are a chosen one by God. You were set apart. God got better and bigger things for you to do. Bigger and better than the foolishness that you was around. So rejoice and be happy. And that's a prophet and message I have for somebody on today. This video was a little long because so I did not intend for it to be short. So if you reach to the end of this video, I appreciate it. Because you probably needed to hear this message on why you don't need to go backwards and continue to move forward. Until next time, family. Bye-bye.